First story. So there is a guy who is my brother's friend. He comes to our house often, and I treat him as my big bro. One day, when I was alone at home, he came to our house to meet my bro, but he wasn't there. Still, I offered him to come inside and have a cup of coffee. He came in. After a few minutes, my dog started to bark strangely. Actually, I'm from South India, and my parents are that typical type of parents who don't allow pets inside the house. So he was standing outside and barking. I told him to be quiet and went to the kitchen. Then that guy came from my back and back hugged me. I was startled and pushed him away. He started to behave strangely. I asked him with an awkward smile, "What's wrong?" He didn't say anything and started to seize my hands. Ugh! He kissed my neck. I could hear my dog barking from outside, even though my dog couldn't see me from outside. I pushed that guy and started running to the hall. I tried to get outside of the house, but he caught me in the hall. Thankfully, my dog rushed inside the house and protected me. He stood in front of me and didn't let that guy come near me. Then he left. I hugged my dog and started to cry. Dogs are the best. Second story. My cat was always super laid back, didn't show much care for anything other than having her food bowl filled and the occasional cuddles and pets on the recliner chair. One day, earlier this year, however, she was acting really odd. The entire day, she kept trying to get into the basement. She knew fully well she wasn't ever allowed down there. But no matter how many times we tried to pull her away from the door or set her in another spot, she'd run right back to the door, start meowing, that pouring under the door. Eventually, we decided to let her break the rules just once to see what had got her so adamant about getting down there. The moment the door was opened, she zoomed down those stairs and stopped nearly dead in her tracks at the bottom, only to look back up at us and start meowing. My dad and I were confused as all hell. Then I happened to glance at the window. The sky had gone dark. The wind suddenly started picking up, and it started raining hard. We quickly put two and two together and gathered some of our belongings. Then hurried to the basement. We were down there for nearly an hour. We heard crashing and cracking from outside, and the entire time, Sugar was staring at the door from the bottom of the stairs, tail swaying like crazy until it was all over. When we came back upstairs, we saw that a huge tree had come down, broke the roof of the garage, and nearly hit the house. We turned on the news to see what had all happened. Ed. It was a windstorm, a bad one, a really bad one. It had suddenly just shown up out of nowhere, taking down numerous telephone poles and leaving entire blocks in the city without power. No one knew it was coming. No one but Sugar. She knew, and she had been trying to warn us all day leading up to it. I'll forever be grateful for that cat. She may not have cared about much, but she still cared enough to keep us safe. She loved us. Sugar has since passed away, but I'll always cherish the memories I've had with her. The sweetest, laziest cat in the world who kept me and my dad safe. Third scary story. I remember one time when I went downstairs, and my German shepherd was just standing in the kitchen and staring at the door to the outside. She wouldn't move and started low growling, but I couldn't see anything. I even went upstairs and looked down from the top floor and didn't see anything. I heard her walking around the downstairs because we had wood floors, but she's still murmuring deeply that low growl. But obviously, following whatever is walking outside the house, so I head back downstairs, and she's back in the kitchen, still statue standing right there. I tried petting her, and it seemed to agitate her, like, "No, we're not playing or being nice." It freaked me out, and then at that very moment, the door handle jiggled, and a shoulder slammed into the door as if to knock it open. The dog went absolutely crazy, and I went for my gun, ready to kill. Whoever was trying to come in obviously got scared off. And I just spent the next two hours sitting in the living room in total darkness with her next to me. She's gone now, but it taught me to never ignore my dog when they act like this.